Hello everyone, it's your girl Paige and I'm here to tap into our Earth Signs predictions for the next week ahead. We entered Sagittarius season today, so I'm going to be bringing through what your spirit guides want you to know. Our first three cards will be the past position, the second three cards will be the future position, and the seventh card will be the conclusion. So, I've already went ahead and pulled these cards, and our first three cards are the Two of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, as well as the Justice card. So what I'm seeing here is that you have really been counting your blessings. You have really been recognizing what's important to you, what really is a make or break kind of thing for you and you're really letting go of everything else that no longer serves you you're realizing that you co-create your reality the more that you hold on to something the more resistance that you create between you and what you truly desire so all this abundance is pouring into your life in the form of wisdom and patience baby something that earth signs seem to lack is patience because we want it like now like here and now and i feel like for this energy is you're really learning how to balance the scales you're learning how to give and receive not just give 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 so the justice card is highlighting that we are really stepping into our power and we're no longer navigating blindly we no longer have those rose colored goggles on hiding behind certain illusions hiding behind certain mindsets but we are free to connect with others we are free to live our lives how we want to live as abundant beings it is our birthright to be abundant our future cards wow we've got the high priestess and the ace of cups so know that you are tapped into the spiritual realm that is what your spirit guides need you to know right now is that you have all of this wisdom all the answers that you seek are already within you and they are pouring into your cup as it is now overflowing they understand that you are sharing your gifts with the world freely that you are able to connect with others that people just resonate with you and they are sending you people into your life that can help push you further along this path so know that anyone that comes into your life, especially the next week or so, is a part of your divine plan. They are here for a reason. Then we've got the Knight of Swords. We are charging forward with this information. We are not scared of our destiny anymore, but we have curated that resilience and that patience that we needed. Um, meanwhile, we're staying humble about it. We're not forcing others to change we're not trying to persuade others to believe what we believe but we realize that we are all connected and we are really um connecting freely so i love that for you guys you guys are really abundant with ideas and with inspiration right now then we've got the page of pinnacles in the future position coming through with the message of abundance staying focused on the tasks at hand not getting overwhelmed by everything that you need to do but focusing on the one thing you can do today that pushes you further that propels you into the future that's what spirit wants you to know don't focus on the whole staircase but focus on the one stair in front of you and the one stair in front of you is the most important one it's not the 12 15 steps ahead it's the one step right now it's that one day at a time mindset don't get overwhelmed because when you're stressed you're not at your best that's what spirit wants you to know when you stress boo you ain't at your best the butterfly cards we're gonna go ahead and see what they want us to know Ooh, so we've got health care change i see you guys really taking care of your vessel and that, for me, I feel like is not consuming as much media. I don't think it's as much food, but it's more not consuming as much media and as much um, of the separation that is promoted throughout our realm. They want us all to think we're different, but we are a lot more the same than we give ourselves credit for. So we've got religion and spirituality. You are tapping into this innate wisdom of 
your spiritual self. You are realizing that this material plane is only here to distract us from our spiritual path. And as earth signs, we can definitely overindulge. So know that. Know that moderation is key. Then we've got join in. Joining in, tapping in, sharing that wisdom with others, being a conduit for spirit, being an oracle, um, being a clear channel to receive that divine guidance, that divine inspiration. Then we've got new career. So spirit is leading you all onto a new path, leading you all into the life of abundance, the life that serves your highest good. The page of pentacles and the new career, they're letting you know that the windfall is here. The fortune is yours, boo. You got this. So tap in with your spiritual self to continue receiving these downloads, to continue receiving this divine guidance. We're going to see what the work your light cards have for us. We've got deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. Then we've got you're already doing it. Stop overthinking and keep facing your true north. Like I said, in the past, you all had really started to recognize your blessings, your abundance, your innate wisdom of this spiritual world. You are tapped in, boo. You're already doing it. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep focused. Don't get overwhelmed with all the steps. Like I said, don't get overwhelmed with everything because then all you want to do is curl up in a ball and not do any of it. Spirit said that does not benefit you. That does not serve you. That mindset is something that you are currently releasing. We've got awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. So integrating this knowledge into your life, into your lifestyle. Um, joining in with others, knowing that Sometimes all we have to do is listen. All we have to do is be present and, and quiet our mind, steal our mind, so that we can receive that divine inspiration, that divine guidance. And we've got warrior. Have you answered your deepest calling? Spirit wants to know, are you really living your life to the fullest? Are you still a little scared of your destiny? Are you still a little scared of your gifts and of your abilities? That's what Spirit has been trying to have you recognize they've been trying to have you recognize how powerful you truly are how wonderful you truly are how this world doesn't alter who you are that you stand strong in your conviction you are unwavering with the loyalty and spirit is congratulating you for that they see you doing the damn thing and they want you to keep doing it don't stress yourself out don't overthink it just act I'm feeling like there's no more thinking. It's just actions. Doing it will get you further than thinking about it, than dwelling on it, than thinking about the coulda, shoulda, wouldas all the time wasted, all the time lost, whatever it is. Whatever stories we like to play in our head that keep us stagnant. So we're going to see what the romance angels want us to know about our current love situations. We got three cards. Retreat. Wow. So we have two cards that say retreat. So it's time that you take that time away from the world. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. Period. So that means really enjoying the holidays. Not overdoing it, but resting, napping, journaling, like doing things that just feel good. Then we've got soulmate and codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. So if you feel that connection with another being at this very moment, know that they are a part of your soul family, your soul path. Not always do we end up with the soulmate that we want to end up with. Sometimes they're there to really push our soul in a certain direction or to really change us on a cellular level. So know that everything has a hidden meaning everything has this bigger picture so take that step back and really view the world as he would with the two of wands really view that world from a different element from a different force of nature like i'm here and you are a force to be reckoned with so stepping into your power knowing that you are safely guided safely protected 
and spirit wants you to know that. I'm seeing the color orange. So that is like our sacral and our solar plexus chakra, which is all about creation, bringing it to life, birthing a new age. So make sure that you are following your heart. Make sure you are putting your creative abilities into every single thing that you do. This could be as little as organizing things so they're easier to find, planning out your day, getting a journal, whatever it is, just using your creative energies in a productive manner, in a way that makes your life easier, a way that makes your life run more smoothly. Spirit is giving you the okay to move forward. So get behind that driver wheel and drive, boo. Don't be worried about the rear view, but look at the windshield. The windshield is bigger than the rear view mirror for a reason. So know that. Know that you are being spiritually guided. High priestess energy. You got this. Trust the downloads that you're receiving. Trust the messages. Trust the feelings, the gut feelings, all that. Trust your intuition. That is your key to success in the next week or so. So trusting ourselves, trusting our path, trusting our abilities. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. If you guys would like to tap in on your own personal journey, please do so on my website at contrarycherryco.com. We can dive deep as you want to go. There are plenty of different offerings and I would love to connect with you guys. If you um, have any questions or concerns, feel free to send me a message on my website. And subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. I'm sending so much abundance into your life. And I hope you guys have a great week.